<laughs> you lads are unbelievable. I know that. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. And for this week's episode, we are going back to our roots. So, the Defender, this is taking me back to where it all started. And under normal circumstances, we don't normally do this car. For a number of reasons, the old Defender, a lot of people have already modified their car and they're just maintaining it. A lot of people do their own work to the Defender as well. Our workshop is super busy with new cars, new Defenders, Rolls-Royce Cullinans, and all of the glorious cars that you see every week on Uncut. But this one, we had to make an exception. We've been speaking to Oli Mers over the last five or six weeks, and he said, Simon, you're the best in the game, and I want you to do my Defender. So, Oli's just left, and we have gone over what we're going to do on his car. First things first, he didn't know what he wanted. So he came in, we've gone through a lot of pictures, a lot of different designs we've got rugged design pack city look you know like oversized big arches and our signature look to the defender when we did it was to basically make it like a modern city version of that so lots of gloss black paint a slick look to something that looked cool going around town so upon my recommendations we know exactly what we're going to do and we're going to transform the exterior look of the car first things first what are we scrapping now we're getting rid of the roof rack this look cannot work with a roof rack and the same goes for the snorkel. The thing is, when we do this, it does create some additional paintwork. Snorkel is obviously bolted on here, so we'll have to rub this down and repaint this area in chorus black so it's all finished nicely. And when we take the roof off, it's obviously gonna leave all of the marks from the clamps that have been on there originally. It's a good thing though, because we're actually doing this roof in gloss black. So we're going for that modern futuristic floating black roof line, which will complement everything that's gonna go black at the bottom. So historically, the ride is atrocious on the Defender. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our Bilstein shocks and some sport lowering springs on there. We'll give a much sportier but comfortable ride on the bends. 18 inch wheels with BF Goodridge tires, replacement black side steps, and then also we're gonna change all of the parts on the car that kinda go rusty. We've got the blocks on the front of the window screen here. We've got the hinges as well. They'll be replaced. They'll have some nice stainless steel bolts in there as well, just to finish it off, to get rid of these corroded areas. Handles, they all go diminished over time, the plastic fades, so we'll replace them. Everything here will be re replaced with like billet aluminium, so a much more sharper premium finish, all in black to complement everything else that we're doing in black. And then to finish off, obviously, top and side vents, which will be in gloss black. We'll replace the entire front grille and the Defender lettering, that will be in gloss black as well. Front DRL bumper, we'll also paint in gloss black. There's a lot of gloss black going on here. And then we'll finish it off with some nice JW Speaker LED headlights and a 10-way LED kit as well. So it's gonna look super crisp. And now we just gotta get started. We'll lift it up, yeah. This edge here, you just wanna make sure we clear the door, yeah? So you're just gonna have to lift it up over this door, yeah? Over, yeah. yeah. Real good, real good, real good. Bosh. Oh, 
Uh, at a minute, we've taken the roof off. We're now going to throw it into a body shop so you can be painted gloss black. It's not often you get to take a roof off a car, is it? Okay, this is weird. Very weird. So as you've just seen, the roof is now painted in gloss black. It's clearly still not on the vehicle, but we're now back here and there is an abundance of parts that before my time, these vehicles were 10 to a penny in urban, but yeah. I haven't seen one since I've started here. So please, Liam, tell me what all these bits are. Bit. Well, we have a lot of things to be changed. Starting off at the front, we've got a steering damper and a steering guard, front grille set and we've got top and sides as well, which just give it a different appearance at the front. Yep. Makes it look more modern, more updated. Yep. Makes it look a little bit more um, classy, I'd say. What are these? They are lowering springs, front and rear. You wouldn't say they were lowering springs, look at the no. size of them. No, Huge. lowering springs, front and rear, and yep. you have shocks as well, front and rear to go with it. Performance dampers. See some interior parts here that have been yeah. painted body coloured. What's that for? That is for the double din. So it's having a double din upgrade inside, whereas you also have a shark fin aerial as well fitted. And a reversing camera. And a reversing heard. camera, yes. But there you so go, these body are, I'm assuming these are all the indicators and stuff, are they? Yes. They give it just a, a nicer finish. I know what you mean. If Bring you can, it up to yeah. make it. If we have a look over modernize here. Modernise it. Look at the difference between that and that. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. That is different. Beautiful. Loads different. Old. It's a lovely upgrade. New. What about, I see some billet aluminium here. So what are all yes. of these? So these are all the hinges for the doors, for the bonnet. You've got the blocks there for what uh, hold on the front windscreen surround. Cheese blocks? Yes. I see that on the paperwork. <laughs> Bear and in mind, everyone, classic defenders were well before my time at Urban. So this is all new to me. Hence why I'm actually genuinely asking these questions. Yep. And what about the door handles? I assume they're billet as well. Billet door handles. I think these look good on, well, every Defender needs these. Anything else going on here? Oh, the wheels. Wheels, yes, 18 inch cruisers. A set of five for the spare wheel, obviously, as well. With some uh, all-terrain tires. Yes. And then we've got a urban truck spare wheel cover, which obviously Urban started with, as see, urban trucks. Yeah, see, I'm used to seeing trucks lifted, but here they go down. So here we are guys, this has been the most fantastic trip down memory lane. The build is complete and this is exactly what we used to do to defenders. We made them like city trucks, take them from the agricultural farmer's truck to this. So we gave Ollie a load of options to choose from. Now, because the defender in this format isn't something we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We actually had no cars here to show him. So we had to go from old historical photos. He kind of picked a few, gave me artistic license to do what I wanted, and this is the outcome. This is basically our design package with full suspension setup and also some interior and billet aluminium finishes.
So starting from the front, obviously we've got the full black pack to the front. We've actually put black paint on the front bumper as well. It just finishes it off because we've gone for this really, really slick look. Comes with Nolden DRLs. We've got a front sump guard as well. As you can see with the LED lights, it looks really, really crisp and it's kind of like modernized the front end completely. Suspension setup is our lowered Bilstein suspension with lowering springs as well. Car ride sits absolutely perfect. It's gonna be comfortable, it's gonna be sporty around corners. He's gonna love this. Eighteen inch cruiser wheels with BFG tires, color coded wing mirrors to get this chorus gray stripe going through the middle. Now we took the roof off this car. When you paint a Defender roof, you have to take it off. You can see the rubbers and the fillings round here. You do not want to mask up to that because when you spray it, the spray goes on the rubber and after a while it looks terrible. So this came off, roof lining out, the whole thing came apart. We've also sprayed both of the A bars to get rid of the rust. And as you can see, as we go around the car, we've replaced all of the hinges and all of the fixings that normally go rusty on a Defender with billet aluminium. These are finished in satin black, finished off really nicely, security locks as well. Gloss black side steps to go with the front bumper and then we finished the rear off so it matches exactly. We've got the cross member painted in gloss black and also a North American rear step as well with toe. Ollie obviously takes his dogs out in this car, so the dog cage stays in the back. And we have put an Alpine double dim fascia unit, some extra speakers as well for better sound, and a reversing camera, because people are renowned for putting the tire into the wall. And to finish off, obviously we've never done this before. We've modernized it completely. We've got our new rear wheel cover, which is only used on the modern Defender. And we've got our new Icon badge on the rear. I am super excited, Ollie is on his way. We're gonna do the big reveal and hopefully, He's gonna be over the moon with it. Started for nothing, we did it, we made it, we turned into something. I said what I be, but they ain't believe, they thought we was bluffing. Yeah, but then when you came in, I was like, over the moon, you asked for like this, mm. this kind of style. Yeah, I always felt that this car had, it. Oh, I always loved it, but I always thought it just needs a little something. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. Is my sort of gardener, Rick, who's yeah. been, been with me for years, Great lad, does my gardening for me because I'm useless at it and I'm never there. Sometimes I'd be... Is this you justifying that you've got a garden? No, yeah. no, it is, this is me justifying it. Because people go, oh, oh, God, he's got a garden. No, but I, 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 I was on, I, I'd go on tour for like two or three months, so I'd be away for six months. So when I didn't have a garden, I'd come out and be like, high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, Rick Rick bought my, I had a green Defender. Yeah. A proper old, well, before this three, one, yeah. a three door yeah. green Defender, yeah. an old one. Um, and I, and he 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 goes, oh, I'll buy it off you. I went, oh, great, like good sale, cheap, get out. Yeah. You can have it. Yeah, I'm looking at getting a, this one. Yeah. And then he, anyway, about about a month later, he came back to see me, and he'd done it up, and I was proper jealous. Uh, you got, yeah, you he got put black wheels. Yeah. He put like these little. He went and bought loads of little exterior bits. Yeah. Put it all on, and I went, oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have sold I really it. like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. So I then should, you went and bought this I one? I should have done that. Well, I already bought that one. Right, gotcha. I wanted a bigger, I wanted it slightly bigger because me and Amelia want to have a family. Yeah. And she thinks I'm mental having this car. She thinks it's ridiculous, but. I mean, you're not going to get I, a baby to sleep in this. No, I'm you not. Know that. But I, I was thinking in my head, I'm thinking staycations, camping holidays, tents. I'm thinking all that. So text me in Take six months time and tell walk. me that you've never done any and of that. And then in a year's time, yeah, yeah. Ask me in five years time, you'll go, you ain't done it yet, have you? Have you? No. Started for nothing, we did it, we made it, we turned into something. I said what I be, but they ain't believe, they thought we was bluffing. Oh, so you're not, are you not into your sports cars? Is this your yeah. thing? You, you, no, you no, are. no, no, I, I love cars I've, in the past, I've had yeah. loads of cars. Yeah. Um, I've been obviously very fortunate in my career to be able to do that. I've, I've, my first car, a proper bought spot, sports car was a Continental GT nice. Bentley, which was yeah. just ridiculous. Couldn't believe I could, yeah. I could, I could drive one. So I had one of them. I've had four by fours. I've had them. I've had them all pretty much. I've tried them all. I've had the, the Cayenne. I drove that for. Then you have a Urus for a while. I had the Urus for a long time. That was my last car. Great car yeah. that is, isn't it? It was fantastic. Best four by four I've ever driven. Yeah. New just, hybrids on the way as well. I'm very excited about that. I'm yeah. looking for. I'm, I'm super cool. looking at potentially looking at that one, but. This one, I just love, I love old, I they do love got, an old car. I love, I love a vintage yeah. car. I've always, I've always had a vintage car, something different. Yeah. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I bought a Mini a while back off a friend of mine, an old vintage Mini, which I loved. But this Defenders is the one. I bought I bought my first Defender at the start of literally just before lockdown, the yeah. first one, 2020. Actually, maybe it was in lockdown. Yeah. I bought it because I knew me and Amelia were going to get a dog and I just thought, do you know what, In lockdown, you was bored and you I'll wanted to buy it. something. Yeah, yeah, I'll try something different. <laughs> I tried something different. And when people say you were Motorhead, if you'd have asked me 10, 15 years ago, I'd have said no. But now, yeah, I, I do love looking at different cars and Googling different types and different engines and what's new, what's different. I like something a little bit... Like nice at the moment, I've got, got a nice Euros here that if once we've done the reveal, you can have a look at that. <laughs> but I've got, well, people, be, uh, people might find this, I'm driving an electric smart car at the moment, but I've got a Brabus one. We, don't worry, we can delete that out. We're not going to confirm that he's driving an electric smart <laughs> car. <laughs> I know your, your fans will be. He's got a gardener and he drives an electric car. Just be annoyed. Done, we are done. <laughs> yeah, well, I, 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 I bought it because I'm, I've just moved house. I'm living in like a village. Yeah. But I love it. It's such a cool car. Um, it's a Brabus one, so I wanted something that was a bit sporty. We can beat the Brabus can, bit out as well. <laughs> well, by the way, I just bought that because I, I thought it looked cool. You don't have to justify it. I didn't realise you guys were enemies. Shall we have a look at this car? Oh, mate. Please, let's do I it. I hope you like it. I can see already, it looks even more. Well, there's, only, looks, one, there's only one car shape that this silhouette is for. So I'm trying to picture what it was like before. Now, what? you're probably going to cut to something now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so we'll cut to something now. Obviously, it was farmer style, roof rack, ladder, a little bit of rust on it, which is always there with Defenders. Mm. Now, obviously, when we was doing bits for you, we took the snorkel off. So we've had to, you know, when we did the roof, we painted oh, the, the roof. The roof rack was so, something So the like... roof's come off, we've painted it properly. We've had to repaint all of the A-bars because of the, the drill holes. Can I just everything. say, when you text me, and and just, want the picture. it's just, like written off. So Simon just texts me this photo and goes, we've taken the roof off. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen my face. like, bruh. Yeah, we can flick a picture of that on now. It, it literally looked, had it looked, no It looked roof. like a write-off, but it doesn't now. Nah. So okay. I'm going to do the reveal for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Mate. You ready? Yes. Wow. Exactly what I wanted. Mate, that is <laughs> so... So, completely clean look. Wow. Yeah, we've got the, the chorus grey stripe yeah. through the middle. Gloss black top and bottom. We don't normally paint the bumper and the steps and the rear cross member and that, but we obviously wanted it like oh, mate. clean city look to I it. I love the roof. Yeah, everything's done and finished. Obviously, all of the little bits of rust that you had around here and here all changed. Well, the, the, when I bought it, I had that roof rack. Every yeah. time I go, I park the car anywhere, you know, like a multi story car park, yeah. it always hit the top every time. I know it does. They're too high, aren't they? It's so yeah. high. So now that's just helped me massively. So we've chopped that up into little bits and put it in the back of the car for you to dispose of. <laughs> no, my, my missus will be delighted because every time we go out, yeah, keep a low profile, keep a low profile, yeah. bang! Yeah. Oh, every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a car, I mean, the wheels. Yeah, so you've got 18-inch wheels on all-terrain tyres, um, so they're good on the road and also good if you're going across handles fields and things like that. lovely as well. All of the billet handles have been changed, so they won't rust, they're made out of aluminium. Colour-coded wing mirrors. Um, all of your front end, everything's changed to LED lighting as well. So Mate. You're obviously your high beam and everything will be good. You've got daytime running lights. It just looks so slick. But what I love, obviously we had conversations about it, but I love the fact that it's still got that classic oh, it's still, Defender look. Right. It's it, just it's, a little subtle detail, isn't it? Slightly modernized, yeah. We've actually dressed it up with our new rear wheel cover as well. So that's all done. So you've got a rear wheel cover oh, on the back. Amazing. The steps on it, you've got your tow electrics as well, which is all functional. You've kept the dog cage in there as well. Yeah. Nice. So was, Miss, Mrs. goes, what happened to the dog cage? I said, oh, I think I've still in there. <laughs> I love that grill at the back there. Yeah. What, what would you call that? What, the bit at the bottom? Yeah. That's a North American rear step. So it's like, a. It's, it was basically when they did the Defender back in back in the day, they did a step for American spec mm. and it just, it just took off over here. I've noticed. I did it for you. Did you do it? Yeah, I did, yeah. You didn't tell me. I know. I was that's thinking a, he's not going to say that's nothing. A surprise. That's, that's my a surprise. gift to you. Ah, oh, thank you, mate. So it's oh all it's all changed. God. The dash has changed. You've got you've got a double din in there as well, which has obviously got the screen on it. Oh, We've replaced the speakers mate. with Rock and Fosgate ones, so you've got a little bit better sound. You can't get an amazing sound out of the Defender, no, no, no. but it's as good as it gets. 
uh, for an install. But all of the unbelievable. All really. of the dashes changed. You know, even little things like you've got little tweeters in here and stuff like that. So now you lads are unbelievable. I know that. <laughs> Got to take credit, haven't you? No, seriously, because <laughs> I didn't. I had no. Um, this car's such a big car, and then when you're driving the modern ones, yeah, it has yeah, it has a 360 cam around it. So when I bought this one, reversing it was a nightmare. Yeah, well, I mean, it it is a bit of a trait to put the wheel into a wall and things like that. So with the camera, you can just see it's angled just to the point where you oh, can just see. The, obviously, you've still got to use your obviously your mirrors, but yeah. it just gives you that little bit of I oh, know how far I've got because I'm. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes parking this car was a nightmare, especially for Amelia as well. She was like, I can't park it because it's just so But you so said she long. was all right with driving it, didn't you? She loves driving it. She, she's, she's converted into a Defender now. She absolutely loves when it. When my wife drove the ones that we used to build, she was like, don't ever put me in one of them again. I hate it. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant drive. We've I made really, the ride really better really as well. Obviously, you can see there you've got the Bilstein yeah. suspension. So it's got lowered springs, but they're comfort springs as well. So on a run, it will, it will be nice. But on corners, it will, it will give you some nice handling. And it's also got a steering um, damper on it as well. So you don't get so much wobble on the motorway. Wow. So. Well, I'm going to drive this home now, so I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, I'm, I'm stuck on the M25. Can you come get up? Yeah, if it breaks down, we didn't do anything to the engine. <laughs> uh, amazing. Uh, this is great, honestly, fantastic. It just, I can't stop looking at it. Wow. It's nice to it do something so different, different for us, yeah. it's, it's so good, it's so bad. I mean, obviously, you guys know what you're doing. It's, an up, it's such an upgrade to what, I've, what I had. But I, it's, it's, like I said to you, I didn't want to do, didn't want to make it too sporty. No, no, it's it, just it, enough, it, isn't it? It, it literally looks, it still looks classic. It looks modernised classic. Obviously, with all of the gloss back paint, you've got rid of all of the, you know, the, the dirty sort of, you know, dull stuff on it. So, yeah. The question really? is, did you enjoy doing it? Yeah, of course. Because yeah. you guys haven't done these for a while. You no, we haven't done it. it for a while. And the, the tech that did it, obviously, was one of the guys that used to work on the original ones. And he was like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then once he got into it and the roof was off, he was like, I remember how, like, how intricate it was taking it all apart. To be honest, and the, the new ones are popping and clip out there, you know, like plastic clips, whereas this is nuts, literally nuts and nuts bolts. And it's bolts. like a Meccano car, you know, the roof comes off with about 20 bolts and then you just pull it off. It's as simple as that. Yeah, because yeah, when you, I'm, I, I didn't obviously ask you the questions at the time, but I was just thinking, how have you guys, yeah. how have you taken my roof off? Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. But it's simple, it's, yeah, it's, it's effective. It's, you just have to make sure that when you reseal it, all of the rubbers go back in nice, so you know, so it's all waterproof. The front oh. window screen's done and everything. So. The black, the black roof. That was a good touch from you. I, yeah. I love that colour. It just looks great. Oh, mate, it just looks unbelievable now. Yeah. Did. I'm glad you're happy. Ah, oh, that's incredible. I just love it. So there we go, handover done. Ollie seems to be happy. We're gonna hand over the keys Jeez. and let him on his merry way. <laughs> 